I'm just checking my what can go wrong list with regard to welding. What's all on there? Oh, hold on. It's all about slack today. So we're talking about slack, but what is it actually? So slack is not a single component. Slack is basically a mixture of different oxides. So you can call a slack building also an oxide island on the surface of your weld seam. So slack actually consists of different oxides as mentioned, be it either metallic or non-metallic. And the slag could be aluminum, aluminum, <laughs> could be calcium, could be silicon. So all of that contributes to slag. But uh, why does it actually occur? Where does it come from? So actually the slag comes from impurities in the matrix of the metal. And it occurs, it comes to the surface because you collect it in the hottest spot of your well seam. And that's usually the spot where the uh, electronic beam hits the surface of your tubing system. That's where the hottest spot is, that's where it's liquefied. But you can also argue that all the impurities are being driven away from the starting crystallographic or crystallization of the metal matrix. So the, all the region where you start to crystallize the matrix, all impurities are driven out because what the crystal, what the metal wants to do is it wants to crystallize in a perfect structure and impurities, there's no space for them in there. That's why you collect them in the hottest spot. When you do regular Orbital welding, that's on the outside, because you weld from the outside to the inside. When you do the other way around, when you weld from the inside to the outside, you will collect those spots on the inside of your tubing system. And the question is again, is that actually a problem or is it not? So actually, when you have it on the outside, it's not really an issue. It might be cosmetic, you may not like the appearance of it, but it's not really a problem. When you have it on the inside, and that's where you can probably also make a micrograph out of this tubing or welding sample and look at the cross section of a slag spot, you will see that it looks like a sponge, that it's very porous and you will figure or probably microorganisms will figure that it's a perfect place to be. And from a hygienic point of view, it's certainly the worst thing that you can have in your tubing system because you will never ever be able to clean that spot. So once you have probably a micro contamination, a biological contamination in that area, you will never ever be able to clean it. So that's the reason why you should be aware of it and why you should try to avoid it. Now you may ask, is there any chance I can avoid it by checking something? Well, actually not. Because what you see in your 316L composition are only the main elements. The trace elements are not given in there. So you might not be able to look at a heat, at a metal at a tubing system and tell is it a good or is it bad. What you would need to do is you would need to create basically your own sample or you ask the vendor. For example here that's a tubing system uh, or a tube that has been electropolished prior to this test. You would need to do it because if you create slag and you did not electropolish the surface then also the slag might come out of the surface itself from a certain kind of contamination. But the surface is some kind that you can work on. I mean, you can pickle it, you can electropolish it, you can grind it. 
So from that perspective, a problem uh, is actually not the surface. The material matrix, the material itself might be the problem. So if you do anything to have a clean surface and you still have slack spots on there, then you probably will not be able to use that material. And are there any legislations, guidelines whatsoever where you can look it up? For sure. You can have a look at the 5817 or at the ASME BPE in the chapter of material joining. That would be certainly a bit too much for this year, but if you have certain questions about it, don't hesitate to come back to us and let us know. We'll talk about it. So far so good. Thanks a lot and stay healthy.